President Trump stirring up some controversy on his working vacation in Florida, touting his legislative successes. All this as his former campaign manager faces an investigation on a sexual assault allegation. And ABC's Kenneth Moten is in West Palm Beach, Florida, for us this morning with the very latest. Good morning to you, Kenneth. Good morning, Paula. It was a nice gesture of President Trump taking a break from his holiday vacation to thank firefighters at a local fire station. But the president spent most of his time in front of the cameras talking about his first year in office. President Trump's surprise visit. You do a fantastic job, so we just wanted to thank you very much. President stopping by a West Palm Beach fire station to thank first responders, but took time to tout his own record. We have signed more legislation than anybody who broke the record of Harry Truman. That claim, false. President Trump has actually signed the least amount of bills of any president at this point in office. As Trump celebrates his first year, we've captured glimpses of him playing on his Florida golf course nearly every day of his vacation. But yesterday, a white box truck blocked the view of the president hitting the links. This morning, one of his biggest supporters, former Trump campaign manager Corey Lewandowski, is on defense, now facing an investigation into a sexual assault allegation. Singer Joy Villa, a Trump supporter who wore a Make America Great Again dress at the Grammys this year, tweeted this picture. She says it was taken in November seconds before Lewandowski slapped her behind not once, but twice. I was shocked and embarrassed by his behavior, she wrote. Villa filed a complaint with D.C. police telling ABC News if Lewandowski, quote, would apologize, that's all I want. Lewandowski, a contributor with the Fox Business Network, was asked about the allegations. I'm not here to speak for Joy. What I am here to do is to speak for me. And uh, what I am going to do is to let the process play forward. It's not the first time Lewandowski has faced legal trouble. During the campaign, he was involved in a physical altercation, grabbing a reporter by the arm, but the misdemeanor battery charge was later dropped. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.